so here we have my first import car that I've actually like officially owned and driven. Uh, it's a, I actually don't know what model it is. It is an, a Mercedes E20, E320. Friggin' uh, when I was looking up parts at the fucking, what you call it, I, I couldn't remember what the fuck kind it was. That's gotta come off. Motherfucker. But, uh, but yeah, it's 4 Matic, so it's all-wheel drive. It's got like 350 pounds of torque or some shit. Like 200 and some horsepower. Fucking, the one rocker's gone. This fender is fucked. Uh, and that window doesn't go down. Other than that, it's a real nice fucking car. Rides so smooth. Fucking uh, really powerful. You can really feel that it's fast. Apparently, it governs at 130 miles per hour, and I have absolutely no issue believing that it can do that. Black leather interior. Fucking fake wood paneling everywhere. Fucking uh, center controlled windows, which is always something I thought was awesome. Fucking haven't sat in the back. Doubt I ever will. Friggin' a sunroof, which. The ad didn't say it had a sunroof, so when I got in and realized there was a sunroof, I was really happy about that, because I love me a sunroof. Friggin... But yeah, this side of the car has definitely seen better days. But, it's like I said, it's not a bad car, particularly when you take into account how much I paid for it. And I got this entire beefed up luxury sports sedan for a grand. <laughs> All you, you just gotta you gotta look around and find good deals. Although uh, the guy I bought it from was originally asking thirty five hundred, and I had gotten him down, uh, and he hadn't sold it for a while, so he was down in price a bit. But when I went to test drive it, I took it out in the freeway to see how it could handle freeway driving. And it can get up to speed fine, but if you really fucking floor it, it uh, it doesn't like it, and it forces you back. Now, I'm not sure if the transmission's slipping, and that's causing it, because it doesn't feel like the transmission is slipping, because it's not like you rev it up, and it takes forever, and then it gets the power. It's literally, you rev it up, and no matter how fast you go, or how high you rev, it only gives you so much power. So I don't know if that's a computer problem, if the transmission's fucked or what. I'm going to have to get that looked at. But for just driving around, like if I don't floor it, it doesn't have any issues, doesn't slip, doesn't do nothing. But, uh, but yeah, no, this is my first foreign car. I'm a little excited. I'm glad that I didn't go with a Honda. First, uh, first foreign car, and it's friggin' Mercedes with a fucking hood ornament. But, uh, it, yeah, like I said, it definitely needs to be fixed up. Some body work. Uh, I paid a grand. Odds are, knowing me, I'm not going to race it out. I did buy this to be a daily driver. It's not going to be part of the race car thing. But I got it cheap enough I could. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Depending on how it goes, because uh, it's got a couple months of MVI. Uh, if by the end of it I'm loving the car and I want to put money into it, then uh, I'll see about doing the body work, but odds are I will just do the bare minimum to keep it running and try to sell it. But, uh, yeah, it's it's such a smooth car to drive with all three of the windows down and the sunroof open. It's, it's a real nice drive. It's got a nice stereo system. Fucking... The parking brake works. I was so excited. I figured, oh, I might as well check when I bought it home, and sure enough, the parking brake works, so I can drift this bitch. That's gonna be fun. Not to mention all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is fucking... All-wheel drive is always fucking fun in the snow. Can't wait for that. That is 3.2 liter V6. Not that big, but surprisingly powerful. Fucking, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, I'm a little excited to get to know this car a bit better. 
Uh, it is disappointing that uh, it is having those uh, that issue with hard throttle, so I'm not going to get to have as much fun with it as I would like. But uh, oh Jesus! Okay, that. But, uh, but yeah, like a thousand bucks got me power everything, leather interior, all wheel drive, uh, fucking sunroof, working park and brake. Uh, oh, the best part about this fucking car, I couldn't fucking believe it. Didn't see it coming at all. It's got a fucking car phone! That is right. This beast has a car phone. I, I couldn't. The guy's like, oh. And uh, you're buying it, so just let me give you some of the extras. And he like, pops it open. He's like, he's got a car phone. Was, I, I, I was floored. I, I'd, I, I had absolutely no expectation in a car from the 2000s to have a car phone. But, uh, fuck. It does. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so there you have it. My Mercedes-Benz. 3.2 my first import car, and I'm not too disappointed for a thousand bucks, I'm pretty happy.